Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up by four. Nasdaq's up three. S&P's are down one. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstack, as you do each and every Wednesday at uh, 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at Forex. Dash trading dash unlocked.com. That's forex dash trading dash unlocked.com. Teddy Kingstack, what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. It's a sunny day in Chicago. I'm looking forward to playing some golf this afternoon. That oh, is baby. a beautiful thing. I love it's it, man. That's great. You can overlook that uh, beautiful uh, Lake Michigan, right? Get that. And now, how about this rally in the dollar? And it's a good day to go play golf because I think the market's already shot their. Uh, you know, momentum for the day. Yeah, the you know, let, let's talk about that, man. I mean, I, I was just, you know, the, the index itself, you know, that, that took off topside last week. Sp well, it's actually, the index spiked higher on the open and then couldn't hold price. And then, you know, the baby, of course, you know, jumped over that uh, level. You know, I, I guess in the longer context, it, it seems, Teddy, that, we're trying to break out, right? And it hasn't actually broken out yet. You know, meaning if I bring this back, you're going to see this consolidation. This has been a long consolidation, folks. But what you're going to see here is we're still, look at this. So the co continuous contract, 97,705. I mean, still laying up there. Yeah, that's the end you know? of last well, year, right? I think, I think I can maybe give you a little explanation why it's really hanging and not really accelerating the move. Yes. If you look, at, if you really look at the currencies that are moving, like, I don't know, do you, if you know anybody that's short the uh, U.S. dollar Canada today? I feel bad for them. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> they're getting really crushed. I mean, anyone that's trading the Aussie dollar, the Canada, they're going to just smashed today by the dollar. Look at but that. Pound, pound is actually slightly higher, and the Swiss, which has been getting crushed against the dollar, they're actually stronger against the dollar today. And the euro, that's the one that's, that's definitely pushing its lows, but it's not like a really big break for, this, for the dollar to be on its highs. So that what's happening right now is all the lesser majors and even all the lesser, more, um, what would you say, lower tier currencies, they're the ones that are getting just really shellacked by the dollar right now, yeah. which, which is net positive for us because we're coming into earnings season. And if this continues for the next like couple months, you're probably going to see second quarter earnings explode for, for companies. Okay. Yeah. So th that would be because you figure they can buy their goods cheaper? Well, yeah. Well, like they take, take for instance, Starbucks. Um, my theory right now is like you have coffee prices that globally have come back, which is that's a good thing right now. Right. Now I don't know, I don't drink coffee and I don't really go to Starbucks very often unless I meet somebody. Yeah. But I know it's, it's pretty expensive. I don't know that they have ever cut their prices for the cups of coffee. <laughs> um, but because of the currency, um, because of the strength of the dollar in the countries that they import coffee from, the cost of doing business for Starbucks is completely dropping. You yeah. know, and has several quarters. So now that's going to definitely impact earnings. So I would say that this, I don't know when Starbucks is coming out with their earnings for first quarter, but I would assume that just by that factor alone, even if sales were flat to only slightly higher, there's going to have a good uptick in earnings. And I think that will also continue into the next quarter as well. And that would other mean also for other countries too, whether it's a food producer, you know, or a manufacturer, things like that, their margins will actually be, if, if the economy doesn't grow and just stays at, a, at an even level, the profits should be going, should still accelerate over the next quarter or two because of that. Yeah, I know. You can see that. And, you know, uh, folks, as uh, Teddy was just talking there, we brought up, uh, so Starbucks, Teddy, comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow after the bell. After, after the nice close. Yeah. And, yeah, you can see. We, if we bring, Is there a trend on that chart? I oh can't my, see. I get the coffee <laughs> chart up right now, Teddy, as you... You're just talking, and uh, just six months ago, coffee was a buck thirty-one a pound. Folks, you had ninety-three cents exactly. And you're right. There's no, no way that they've talked about reducing their prices. I go to Starbucks sometimes. Mm. I didn't see those prices drop, and that's because they ain't dropping, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then the currency is also stronger. So between those two pricings, their their margins have to be exploding to the positive side. Right. Yeah. Right. And so. I, I guess uh, in Canada, you know that. That's quite a move. I mean, yeah. 134 to one U.S. dollar, you know. And yeah, almost 135 right now. Yeah. yeah. But they blasted through those highs right now. Yeah. This right. is an explosive move. So yeah. you have Canada, like, I mean, 
I know we import things from Canada. It's, it's obviously a positive for us. You know, um, yeah. Australia, they're getting hammered. And remember, we were talking about the New Zealand dollar a few weeks ago, about how it was trending lower. We kind of had a sellish, you know, yes. mode. It's just getting shellacked, too. You know, and I, I mean, these are their major currencies still. They're the lesser batch of them. But for them to be hitting these extremes like this is a major. It's a big deal. This is not like they're heading into a bounce point. It looks like there, it's a trend that they're pushing to maybe hit some extremes they ha we haven't seen in a, quite a while. It might be an interesting trend what we'll be talking about in three, four months from now. I like it. Interest hitting extremes. Oh, right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no doubt. Huge no moves. Doubt. Yeah. Listen, folks, every trading day, you can uh, go over to uh, our man Teddy Cakestat at forex-trading-unlock.com. Well, listen, man, you have a great day. Have a, a good afternoon. Uh, oh, we hit him well. Oh, hey, what, Ivan. What do we got? Tiger Woods winning the Masters. I know. You've been away yeah. a while, man. I, <laughs> you missed a lot. That was so cool. I watched him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I watched him. That's pretty crazy. That man. was the one thing. Oh. I, I woke up in the middle of the night. I texted you. Yeah, yeah, watched yeah. it. Watch him on the 18th hole and then fall asleep again. Because you're in China 12 hours forward. Right. So the, it finished was, at like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. So I, that's I, good. I, you woke up at 2 in the morning, was, caught the final putt, celebrating your mind, then went to sleep. It was the day I got there, I yeah. think. Yeah. 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 That was quite, that was pretty cool, huh, Seriously. Teddy? Yeah. Quite a trip, huh? So oh, it was great. So hit him like Tiger today, Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Okay, okay, man. Okay. Listen, you have a great one, a safe one. Okay. Take care, guys. Thanks, Thanks Teddy.